What we do here is go back, 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 back. All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. And today is my 11 year anniversary on YouTube. Well, a couple weeks late, but that's okay. Uh, usually with my anniversary videos, I just kind of talk about my time on YouTube, what it's meant to me and all that kind of stuff. But I want to do something different for my 11 year anniversary. So I'm going to be going over just the evolution of my video camera setups. Now, the caveat to this is that I don't have my cell phones that I've used over the years and I'm not gonna be using my webcams because I think you see enough of this gorgeous face on the webcams as it is today. So we're just gonna be going over the dedicated video camera setups that I've had over the years, starting with my newest camera and then working our way back to my very first camera that I've used for YouTube. So this camera that I'm using now is the Sony Alpha A5100. It's a lovely camera. I mostly use this for photography. So if you follow me on Instagram, instagram.com slash theandyson, this is the camera that I mostly used for my sunrise sunset pictures back when I was stationed out in Japan. This does take lovely video as well. So, but the uh, problem with this is that it does uh, tend to overheat. So if I record videos longer than like 10 minutes or so, it starts to overheat and I gotta like shut it down and wait for it to cool down before making more video. So this isn't really good for the long videos, but for like the short little like five to 10 minute vlogs, it's not so bad. The next camera that we're gonna be looking up is the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. Cause I'm so black. <laughs> so, see you in the next bit. So yeah, this is my GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition. I got this camera originally back when I was stationed out in Japan and I got it for my bike vlogs and stuff like that. It's really super lightweight and it captures a wide field of view. So it's just perfect for stuff like that. And then even when I came back to the States, it's also good for my driving vlogs as well. Captures, you know, the road and things like that. I got to do more of those driving vlogs. I just kind of fell off the uh, the wagon as far as stuff like that goes. So that might be coming at some point soon. So keep an eye out. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I got this thing. It's also the lightest camera that I have and it just works great for stuff like that, man. And I really gotta, really gotta use this one more often because it's definitely a great camera. So, in the next bit, we're gonna be going over my lovely camcorder, which I still use for a lot of outside stuff because of the stability and everything like that, the Sony CX430V. So, in the next bit. So yeah, this is my Sony CX430V camcorder. And uh, it's one of the, my favorite cameras that I've ever used, mostly because of the uh, balanced optical steady shot, so it's very improved stability, really good for recording, I uh, say, concerts, which uh, I did recently at the time, so recording the uh, Polyphia, Polyphia, I can never pronounce their name, uh, but I recorded a concert out there at Grand Rapids, and it came out beautifully thanks to this camera. And it was nice and steady, and even when I was doing like pans and stuff back and forth to show the crowd reactions and then panning back to the band, there was like hardly if any shakes, at least that none that I could notice. And uh, this was all done handheld. This was not done on a tripod or anything like that. It was all, all just in my hand, baby. I had it in my hands. Cause I'm so damn big. <laughs> and uh, like I said, it's just a lovely camcorder. And this is the one that I used to record a lot of uh, outside vlogs as well, back when I was stationed out in Japan and uh, stuff like that and uh, just a good camera, man. Can't, uh, can't complain too much. So, in the next little bit, we'll be going over my point and shoot camera, the Canon SX230HS. So yeah, see you there. So yeah, this is my Canon PowerShot SX230HS point and shoot camera. Um, I originally got this uh, back when I was stationed out in San Diego so I could record concerts and stuff like that because a lot of them really didn't like the typical camcorder setup, mm -hmm. but they did allow point and shoots. So I decided to get this one to record some concerts and stuff like that. And it's just been a great camera. Um, nice, clear picture. The audio sounds pretty darn good for a uh, point and shoot, if I do say so myself. So. With that said, um, we're gonna be going over um, my other camera, which is the camcorder setup like I was talking about, the Sanyo Zacti 
SH1. So, see you in the next bit. So yeah, this is my Sanyo Zacti SH1 camcorder. And uh, this is the first camera that I've ever gotten that has a full HD. Uh, so this is at 1080p, 60 frames per second. This was back when YouTube didn't support 60 frames per second, so I had to always down convert my videos to 30 frames. So what you gonna do? <laughs> but like I said, this is my first ever HD camcorder and I got it for that, as well as being able to sit it down on a flat surface, put it up on tripods, stuff like that. And it served me well over the years. I recorded a lot of my NFAX videos using this camera, whether I'm outside or in my barracks, which a lot of people thought was a hotel, which it kind of sort of looks like a hotel looking back at the videos. This camera has served me well over the years, and uh, this is actually the first time I've uh, recorded anything on it in quite some time, like I said. <laughs> Probably years, actually, but even on the little monitor here, everything looks pretty gosh darn good, if I do say so myself. So. With that said, we'll go to the OG, the original gangsta camera. So, let's see the next bit. So yeah, this is the OG camera that I got so many years ago, the Sanyo Zacti CG6. Like I said, it was my very first camera, and this is this has got to be like the first time I recorded anything on it in gosh, that'd be years and years, probably. Probably like a little before I joined the Navy back in 2010 it was the last time I recorded anything on this camera. So yeah, this is uh, quite the experience for me and uh, scaling this to uh, HD will be quite interesting. I'll probably just letterbox it. But yeah, man, this camera has the most stories because this is where I started from, man. Um, I got this camera off of eBay back in 2008, got it for a little over a hundred bucks with shipping and all that kind of stuff. Uh, it was a little bit cheaper than the normal uh, newly priced ones at the time because this one was used and the tripod mount is stripped. So I couldn't like set it up on a tripod or anything like that. And plus it's one of the, uh, the old school pistol grip type cameras that were getting popular once YouTube started taking off. And I originally got the idea for getting this camera from one of my big YouTube inspirations, Tokyo Kuni. And uh, he was using a Sanyo Zacti at the time, but he was using a much more expensive Sanyo Zacti. One that I could not afford on my broke Walmart salary. So uh, I decided to get this bad boy and the adventure began. And this camera, this camera brings back so many memories, dude. I remember when I first got it, I originally got this camera for, uh, not just for YouTube, but also for taking pictures of stuff that I was trying to sell on eBay because keep in mind, this was before all cell phones and stuff had cameras and much less video cameras in, in uh, full HD now. Jesus, it's hard to think about it. But uh, yeah, this, this camera brings back a lot of memories, especially a lot of like arm pain memories because like I have to hold the camera like really, like it looks like I'm really, really close to the camera because my face is taking up the whole frame. But in reality, like my arm is like really far away. Like this is, this is my arm like fully extended away from the camera. But my, my, uh, my big ass head is still taking up the whole frame. So like fully extending my arm for long periods of time really uh, was wearing on the, uh, on the shoulders there, so <laughs> uh, it was good to uh, switch to HD where the, the the lens was a lot wider, so I could hold it a little bit closer and uh, at a much more comfortable distance. So yeah, that was just a brief tour of my video camera setups throughout my time on YouTube, and uh, it was such a good uh, nostalgia trip, especially for the older cameras. A lot of those I haven't used in years. So it was good to just kind of fire them up one more time, even if it was just for a quick little snippet of a video and just kind of look and see like, wow, just kind of looking back and seeing where I came from on YouTube, you know, especially the the OG camera, the St. Uzacti CG6, which was my very first like camera camera. Because before, uh, my very first videos on YouTube were using my friend's camera. And this was before, you know, SD cards and stuff were a thing. So we could only record like a couple seconds of video 
at a time. Then we had to like dump it on a hard drive or dump it on a computer and go, go back downstairs and record stuff. And that's just kind of how we did it. And it was really janky, but somehow it worked, you know? Here I am today, 2017. Woo. And uh, before I go, I also want to thank you guys for being so supportive with my move over to this channel right here. It's been over a year since I moved over to this channel, making it my primary one. And I just want to thank you guys for all the support you've given me this past year. We've actually more than doubled in subscribers since moving over here. And it's just been great for me, man. And I can't wait to uh, to crack 1K, woo! <laughs> Maybe in a year, hopefully less, and uh, go beyond that. So again, thank you guys for all the support. Hope to see more of you on uh, my videos soon. And uh, feel free to leave me some comments down below in the boobity boops, you know, don't be shy. And I'll try to respond to you, and uh, we'll keep the conversation going from there. But for now, this is the Andy Sign, signing off for now. <laughs> Thank you guys once again for tuning into this video and for watching my other stuff. And as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.